Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Okay, so welcome to the vlog today. Cozy Vibes 101. Rarity, do you agree with mama? So it's like raining, gloomy. It's been so nice. I do want to do like a little bit of a taste test moment. Please say hello to Pluto, my child. So we're going to do a little taste test. <laughs> I was in, where was I? Kroger, I think. And okay, I saw these. And I said, excuse me, ma'am, Takis meat sticks. <laughs> you guys know I love me a meat stick. And I do like Takis. So they combined it together. And they said, let's burn your mouth with a little bit of meat. So, really? They said childproof because your tongue is about to fall off. That was so dangerous. I was using these scissors once and I saw a comment that said, why are you using gardening scissors? This came with my knife set for the kitchen. So I don't know. Oh, oh my God. Wait, hold on. That smells so good. Hot chili pepper and lime flavored meat sticks. Wait. Two carbs. Wow. This is the best meat stick I've ever had. I'm shook. I recommend if you like meat sticks and Takis. You guys. We have a whole ass update. Is this the meat stick vlog? <laughs> it's on the floor. My girlfriend hates them. She spit it out first bite and she said it's the nastiest thing she's ever ate. So you all have to try it. You guys will be the tiebreaker. Second update, my girlfriend just said the meat sticks are literally like dog food. So that's that. Third update, my girlfriend won't kiss me because I have meat stick mouth. So... <laughs> Hey guys, so it is the next day. I'm currently just getting ready. So we're actually going to Eric and Ricky's. I'm really excited. I'm doing my taxes this weekend. Not excited. Okay, sorry. Someone ended up calling me. But I'm currently trying to decide which earring to wear. I did have one of each in. And I'm just like trying to decide. This is usually what I do, like process of elimination. So we have these. I feel like it goes good with the shirt. And then we have these, which also goes good with the shirt. So I'm not gonna decide until I'm done with my makeup. So I'm gonna do my makeup, either watch YouTube or listening to listen to music, I don't really know. But um, I will show you guys which one I end up choosing with my makeup look. Okay, so makeup is complete. Earrings are chosen. I just preferred it. I will be straightening my hair because it's kind of like frizzy. Straightening it will help. So let's do a little like outfit of the day. We haven't done one of those in a minute. So I'm wearing this dress, which is from Torrid. Oh, you guys saw some skin. So yeah, I got this dress like a few years ago. And this is actually from Hot Topic. It came with another dress because it's supposed to go underneath this black dress I got. But I thought this would look good together. And I was right. I'm like kind of digging it. Okay, so we are currently at Kroger because my girlfriend is going to make us dinner tonight. Me, her, Eric, and Ricky. It's like this pasta creation that she came up with. Currently in the cereal. Because I like to have something sweet. After dinner, it's just like a thing. And I kind of want cereal as my sweet. I'll show you guys my favorite cereal ever. This cinnamon toast crunch is the very best. And then... 
We're also gonna try these flaming Hot Cool Ranch Doritos. I'm excited. Hey guys, so it is the next day. I just did my taxes. I hate every moment of it, but I honestly love my accountant. She's pretty freaking great. So now we're actually on our way. We're gonna go pick up something to eat. We did like a order situation type deal, Texas Roadhouse. So yeah, we're pretty hungry. And we're gonna go back to Eric and Ricky's to eat it. So just wanted to give you all a little update. And if you haven't done your taxes, do them. Cause yeah, you don't wanna like get arrested and stuff. Hey guys, so it is the next day. Oh my god, I woke up. One of my eyelashes was off. The other one was on. Should I put this light on? Oh, the lighting in here is rough. So let's just embrace it. I slept with my freaking makeup on. Um, I am home now. Hi. So as you guys know, I've been having a hard time reading. Reading is like one of my most favorite things to do. But like my attention span is like rough. But I've been trying to read. Um, every single day I tell myself I have to read for at least 20 minutes. And I really try to focus. It's freaking hard. But uh, I just miss books, you know. So right now I'm reading Imaginary Friend by Stephen Chabosky. I'm bad at pronouncing. But that's okay. This is actually the author from Perks of a Wallflower. So if you guys have ever read that, that's awesome. So this is more like... A horror book um, I'm on chapter 14 page 78 it's just about this little boy who follows like this cloud into the forest and there's like creatures and all this stuff and then six days later he is found and he doesn't remember anything that happened and it's very horror so I'm excited like what happened in those freaking woods bro like let me know. So yesterday I actually went to TJ Maxx. So I have a haul for you guys. I'm so excited. Um, haven't been there in forever. I was going to vlog for you, but it was so crowded and like I'm having vlogger anxiety doing it in public. I just got to work on that. But yeah, I'm excited. I am just feeling really good, like getting out a little bit and stuff. Um, I do have to get my booster shot. I have not gotten it yet. I recently had to take antibiotics. It's not something I talked about. I don't really want to talk about it. So supposedly when you take antibiotics because of an infection or something like that, like you can't get your booster shot or something. I don't know. The doctor explained it. So I had to wait a little bit before I could uh, get my boosty. So I got to do that. Okay, you guys. So I'm looking like frumpy as I last spoke to you guys. I have showered, gotten ready for the day, but it's a lazy day. We've just been chilling in bed watching 90 Day Fiance. We're also trying to catch up on my 600 pound life. We're like three episodes behind. So it's just been like low key day. It's 5.30 PM and I feel like I want to get a little bit done. So I'm going to do some cleaning set alarm timing. So did that even make sense? So I've actually been talking about this on Snapchat and a lot of people said that they're going to put it into action. Like if you have, ADHD or depression, or even just laziness. Trust me, this will work. This is what helps me keep my apartment as clean as I can. Also with like productivity, I will set my alarm for 15 minutes and I will allow myself to do whatever I want. It could be like responsibilities where I'm just like sitting at my desk, whether it be editing, paying bills, reading emails, stupid things like that. Or it gives me 15 minutes to do Legos or journal. Or if I wanna catch up on a TV show, TikTok, like, YouTube, anything. After those 15 minutes are up, I'll set my alarm again, 15 minutes of cleaning. So it's very important, like do your dishes. Let's put that laundry in that you've been procrastinating. Let's clean off that table that is like getting cluttered because you keep putting stuff on there. Just 15 minutes of pure cleaning, just go for it. After your alarm goes off, do 15 minutes of something you enjoy, then 15 minutes of cleaning, 15 minutes of something you enjoy. Go back and forth. It helps me a lot because it seems like I can't focus on anything. So if I have like a time limit where I'm just like, okay, I have to do this for 15 minutes, I do everything I can and just do it. So I think I'm going to do that for like the next few hours, but I wanted to give you guys a TJ Maxx haul. First thing, Rarity and Wasabi are sharing the same um, pet bed. So I got a new one for them to share. This one's like fluffy, soft. 
I'd use it if I was a cat or a dog. Next thing I got is Twinkie, this dog toy. He's in a pod. Small toys like this are her favorite. So I thought this was super perfect for her. I've been doing a lot of scrapbook and I have a lot of scrapbooking stuff and I just have it in like this flimsy box. So I bought these boxes for my scrapbook stuff. They open like this. They're so adorable. So I think that's perfect. Next thing I got is this super adorable purse. It opens like this. I really do need a smaller purse to just have if I'm just like going grocery shopping real quick or something. So you can carry it long. It also comes with this cute bag on the inside. It is clear. I've never had a clear bag before, so low key super excited to use it. And it's like perfect size. So the last few things we got are pictures to hang on the wall. They are stunning. I'm gonna have to like tilt them because then you just see a huge glare and you won't be able to see it. So this is the first one. Second one, like look how stunning. They we're all on sale, which is crazy. So here's the third. So the three of those, I think we're gonna hang those in our bedroom. And then this one is gonna go in my bathroom cause it kinda goes with my bathroom curtain. My bathroom curtain, <laughs> my shower curtain. So yeah, I feel like this TJ Maxx haul was actually things that I truly needed or like truly wanted. Usually I'll go into there and it'll be just like shopping spree. But Orderlin is no longer here. <laughs> when I tell you guys, it wasn't even a few minutes after I showed you this, Rarity was in it. Look at her. Hi, baby. You guys, 10 out of 10 recommend. I need to get, I'm probably gonna get another one from TJ Maxx soon. So update, Twinkie got a hold of the, the bed. We put it in the office. We actually just rearranged the office, but Twinkie's yours. What you doing? Hey guys, so I'm currently sitting in the dark editing this, but I need to end it. Hope that you guys enjoy it and I will see you in my next video. Bye. But you make me kinda nervous. You do that